we were talking about no not substitution we were talking about oxidation reaction where uh, an alcohol suppose C2H5OH when treated with alkaline KMnO4 that is potassium permanganate plus heat and with or sorry not and it's or acidified K2Cr2O7 it will give the corresponding acid without changing the number of carbon atoms that is it will just add an oxygen atom and of course remove two hydrogen atoms so this has two carbon atoms so basically this will become ch3 cooh so this ethanol will change to ethanoic acid now questions will come like you will be given suppose C3H7COOH and there will be an arrow and there will be alkaline KMnO4 plus heat and the reactant will be X you have to find X so first of all you examine the thing on the top of the arrow that is alkaline KMnO4 plus heat so you directly get an idea that it is an oxidation reaction the type of reaction you get an idea from the reagent which is used so from alkaline KMnO4 and heat you get an idea that it is an oxidation reaction and the product is this which is 3 plus 1 4 so butanoic acid so butanoic acid should come from an alcohol which is getting oxidized from by KMnO4 to give this acid so if ethanoic acid comes from ethanol then obviously butanoic acid will come from butanol what is the formula for butanol C4 H9 O H uh, I forgot to tell you that the general formula for alcohols is like I mean the general formula for alkanes was CN H 2N plus yeah CN H 2N plus 2 so basically you remove one hydrogen and add add an OH group so this will become 2n plus 1 and it will be OH so C4 H 2 into 4 8 plus 1 9 and then OH actually it's like CN if you take this H also into this it's H 2n plus 2 O but we write the formula like this so it's better remembering the remembering the general formula like this so this butanoic acid will come from butanol whichever in this reaction the number of carbon atoms does not change so if this is eth then this should also be eth if this is but then this should also be but remember this this question can also come in a word form like a compound X on reaction with this gave this acid and find X so it's the same now the next type of reaction is addition reaction 
Now, as the name suggests, addition reaction means something is getting added. In this reaction, the reactant is a double bond, a double bonded, a double bond containing compound or a triple bond containing compound. This is the reactant. Uh, suppose we take C2H4, which is ethene. This has a structure like this. And we subject it to a nickel catalyst and hydrogen gas. So, what will happen is that this hydrogen will go and add over this double bond. It will just attack this double bond. So, what this will do is that it will break the double bond. You learn in higher classes that double bonded compounds, the double bond is easy to break but uh, than the single bond. So, the breaking this double bond is easy. So, this hydrogen will come and break this double bond and then the two hydrogen atoms will add onto this. So, basically, this ethene will change to ethane. Now, why this nickel catalyst is used? You know, a catalyst is a substance which uh, changes the rate of the reaction. I mean, it makes the reaction faster. So, this nickel, it is used as a catalyst because you will see that in nickel, if this is the surface of nickel, this surface gets cracks, develops cracks. This is not so big. I mean, it's a it's in microscopic level. I am showing it big. So, if this is the nickel metal and this is the surface, it will develop cracks over here and this hydrogen will go and accumulate in these cracks. So, basically, when you are introducing nickel with hydrogen, this hydrogen from the cracks also comes out with this with this hydrogen and the hydrogen as a result the concentration or what you call the quantity of hydrogen will increase and if hydrogen increases it will add more and more it will add faster onto this so that is why the rate increases instead of nickel you can also use palladium you can or you can also use platinum but generally nickel is used so remember that a double bonded compound on reaction with a nickel catalyst and hydrogen gas will break the double bond and make it a single bond and this hydrogen gas will help in breaking the double bond and adding on to the two carbons. Like if you break this double bond, you need something, some because this will not have a bond, so it needs to bond with this hydrogen.